back here at uh, Fort Morgan High School as the boys game is close to getting started. We will give you the starting lineup for the Elizabeth Cardinals head coach by Mike Boss, assistant coach Jim Wilson and Frank Messenger. Their starting lineup is Jordan Minch, a 5'8 senior, Jacob Boss, a 5'10 senior, Garrett Hawkins, a 6'4 sophomore, and Cameron Moon, a 6'0 senior. Starting lineup for your Fort Morgan Mustangs, and that is brought to you by Cargill Beef. Cargill Beef is committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. And that starting lineup tonight is six foot sophomore Grayson Garver, six five sophomore Trey McBride, six foot junior Austin Breidenbach, five eleven senior Nate Gertner, and six one junior Tate Kimball. Leading scores for the Elizabeth Cardinals is Minch at nine point seven, Hawkins at seven point eight, and then uh, Smith. Cage Smith at 6.7 for your uh, for Morgan Mustangs the leading scorer for the Mustangs is Trey McBride as he is averaging 15.8 points a game Tate Kimball is second at 12.9 points a game and Austin Breidenbach comes third leading scorer at 9.2 points a game for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. The Mustangs coach is Chad Unrein. Assistant coaches Harrison Chisholm and C.W. Scott. As we said, the Fort Morgan Mustangs are averaging 67 points a game, giving up 56. Elizabeth is averaging 50 points a game and giving up 70, and that is in league play. Uh, overall, Elizabeth sits at 2 and 9. Fort Morgan sits at 7 and 5. So another good opportunity here tonight, at least looking by records for the Fort Morgan Mustangs to try to come away with another victory here. Uh, go up 5 and 0. Oh in league play but we will see how that all plays out here in the next hour or so and see if the Mustangs can come away with the victory. The opening tip is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. Looking to find insurance for your car, home or even for you? Call Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance with two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health or life insurance questions or provide a quote. So Trey McBride will jump as the Fort Morgan Mustangs win the uh, tip as he gets it off to Bride back and to McBride in the in the lane. His shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded low by the Cardinal as they hustle the ball down court. They get it into the hands of Minch. Minch looks to cross-court pass to Hawkins. Hawkins we have a number 41, and that we don't have a 41, so I'm lost here. The ball is going to be up and good by the Fort Morgan Mustangs, or by the uh, uh, Cardinals, excuse me. The basket was by Minch. Foul underneath on Elizabeth. And that will go against Minch, his first. So I believe maybe, no, oh, 30. They have a 41. First free throw by Tate Kimball is up and good. He will have the second net is up and no good. Rebounded though by McBride. Gets it back out to Kimball. Now Breidenbach drives it down the lane. His little up and under layup is up and good for Breidenbach. 
three to two. Fort Morgan as they put on the full court press as they look to get the ball down. Shot is going to be up and blocked from the back, but I believe that's going to be on Garver. Block from the back. They're going to call it on Bryden back, I believe. His first, and that will send. You can see there's number 35, I believe. Cameron Moon, I believe, in his first free throw is up and no good. Second free throw coming up, and that is up and good for Moon. Carver now in the pass down to Kimball out on the high right wing, back out to McBride. Out at the three-point circle, Breidenbach now to Garber over on the left side being guarded out there on the man-to-man. -man. Now Gertner to McBride, McBride for the three, and that is up and good for McBride. Six to three, Fort Morgan with six and a half to go here in this first half of, or first period of play. Now the ball is going to be tipped and knocked out of bounds by Fort Morgan. Or excuse me, by the Elizabeth Cardinal. So Fort Morgan will inbounds in the backcourt in front of their bench up 6-3. to three. Garber now gets the ball across half court, gets it to Breidenbach out on the left wing, now to Gertner. Gertner for a three, and that looks good. It is up and good for Gertner. Back-to-back -back threes here by the Mustangs, up now by six, nine to three. Now a blocking foul on Garber. That will be his, or his first. Two team fouls on the Mustangs, one on the Cardinals. As they will now inbounds far side. Get the ball in court. Get the ball to Moon, but it's going to be tipped away by the Mustangs. They get the ball in. Bounds now to Moon, a three from the corner is going to be up and good by Jake Boss. Breidenbach now left baseline and his pass is going to go out of bounds. Elizabeth inbounds far end of the court now, but taken away by Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball drives it all the way down. Layup is up and good by Kimball. His first bucket of the night. Three points on the night for Tate. As the ball is tipped away and Hawkins will run it down in the far side. But I guess it was out of bounds off of Fort Morgan. So 11-6 Mustangs. 5.28 to go here in the first period of play as Boss looks to get it in. Now another deep three and that is going to be off the rim and no good. Rebounded by McBride. They get the ball down. Layup is up and good by Gertner from the left side. Five points on the night. Now a ball is going to be kicked. The Cardinals will retain possession as they inbounds far side. As they get the ball in, the first shot is going to be up and good. by Boss. Garver now with the ball out at the point being guarded closely by Minch. Shot is going to be up and good on the layup by McBride. Five points on the night for McBride. So over on the far side, a shot up and no good. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Little left hook shot is up and no good. Going to be taken away by Nate Gertner. Gets it into the hands of McBride. McBride stops at the three-point line. Now gets it to Garver. Breidenbach into the corner. He drives down the right baseline, but it's going to be tipped away from behind by Boss. As the Cardinals now look to set up their offense with Boss out at the point. Now gets it off to Minch over on the right side. Little weave on the perimeter here now the far side is Moon he's going to throw it cross court to Boss 
Number 41 is Cage Smith. On the line, though, is Elizabeth as it will turn over to the Mustangs. Connor Shaver and Drew Gherkin into the game for Breidenbach and McBride. Tate Kimmel now in the front court. Going to stop and pop for a three, and that is off the side of the rim and no good. But high up in the air is... Gertner for the rebound, but Fort Morgan is going to throw the ball away out about midcourt. So turnover by the Mustangs as they are up 15 to 8 with 3.29 to go here in the first period. Two team fouls on the Mustangs, one on the Cardinals. As Minch gets the ball up court against Gertner, man to man defense for the Mustangs. Now out high to Christian Gottero. Cage now up and under, and that's going to be up and no good. Rebounded up and no good by the Cardinal, but now a reach foul, I believe, and that will maybe go on Gherkin. We will see who they're going to put that on. And that will be on Drew Gherkin, his first, team third. As the Cardinals will look to inbounds right baseline. McBride back in. Tipped away and taken on the rebound by uh, McBride as he gets it off to Connor Shaver. Shaver now to Tate Kimball. Far side to Gherkin, now back to McBride. McBride tries to work it up. Going to be through the hands of Gherkin. A pretty hard pass there. Gherkin did not hold it onto it. Turnover Mustangs. Still up 7, 15 to 8. So you get the ball into the hands of Smith. Oh, it's going to be taken away. Nice steal by Garver. He's going to drive it all the way down. The shot is going to be up and no good. They're going to call the foul out on the floor. We'll go against Smith, his first, team second. Tate Kimball to inbounds for the Mustangs, right baseline of their basket with 2.41 to go. 15 to 8, Fort Morgan. Garber now shot from the right side is off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Kimball. So he looks to get it out. He gets it out to Garber. Now McBride over on the left side. Kicks it out to Gherkin for the three from the corner. Up and good for Drew Gherkin. 18 to 8, 10 point lead here for the Mustangs early on here in this first half of the first period of play. 2.19 to go in this first period as they get the ball into the hands of Minch. Minch now is underneath, but the pass underneath is going to be taken away. Now Gherkin has to run it down in the far end of the court. Gherkin now to Connor Shaver. Shaver back out to Garver. Garver shot is up and good from the right side for the three. So a 30 second timeout will be taken here by the Cardinal. We will just keep it here. The first Fort Morgan score of the game was brought to you by Morgan Federal Bank, a bank that is committed to their community and keeping banking simple. They are on the cutting edge of banking. Stop by 321 Ensign and see what options they have available. Morgan Federal Bank, there is a difference. So early on here, 21 to 8, Fort Morgan with 159 to go here, first period. Three team fouls on Fort Morgan, two on the Cardinals. The number of guys getting on the scoreboard tonight so far. Six players so far are on the on the scoreboard right now for the Mustangs. Cardinals to get the ball up court. They do get it up court into the hands of Gottero. Now into the hands of Boss. Boss gets it back, drives down that right side, going to drive it down into the lane. A shot is up and no good. Rebounded though by McBride. His pass up to Gherkin. Gherkin to Shaver. Now Shaver's left-handed layup is up and no good. Rebounded by uh, Hawkins. Neely now on the right side, but they're going to call a block foul on Sh on uh, Connor Shaver, be his first, team fourth. Derek Bain and Trevor Link come into the Mustang lineup for McBride and Garver. As they get the ball inside, now it's going to be Jacob Boss from the left side. 
Up and no good. Rebounded by Gherkin. The Mustangs look to run. Hands it off to Kimball. Now to Link to Payne over on the left side. Now it's knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. The Fort Morgan inbounds. Far side front court. As they get the ball into Kimball with a minute to go here in this first period of play. The Mustangs up 21 to 8. Link now to Kimball to Gherkin. Shaver now in the corner. Now back to Gherkin. As the Mustangs work this clock down. Tate Kimball from the free throw line up and no good. It's going to be rebounded by Hawkins with 39 seconds to go. 21 to 8 Fort Morgan. As Boss now drives it down the right side, kicks it out. Now it's going to be Goddard, but he's going to be called for the travel. He had his bags packed on that one, and he was on the road. So turnover by the Cardinals with 27.3 seconds as Connor Shaver looks to throw the ball in. Gets it in to Kimball. 21 to 8. Fort Morgan with the lead. Looked like they want to milk this clock down and get the last shot. 15 seconds left here in the first period. Gherkin now to Kimball. Kimball's going to drive it down. His shot's going to be up and no good, but he is going to be fouled on the shot. So Kimball will line to shoot two. And that will go against Christian. I'm not just sure how you pronounce that last name. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it. properly free throw by Kimball is up and this one is good the four points on the night for Kimball down to three seconds now into the corner and that shot is going to be up and off the rim and no good so at the end of one the Fort Morgan Mustangs at 22 to 8 on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Fort Morgan High School, Brian Nickel with Claudia Nickel. As the Mustangs are up at 22 to 8 to start this second period, the Cardinals with possession to start this second period of play. And unforced error there on the Cardinals as they step out of bounds. There's some different numbers here that uh, they don't match up with <coughs> what we have. They have a number 43 in the contest for the Cardinals and I do not know who that belongs to so Garber now with the ball gets it off to Gertner out high. Now to McBride out on the right high wing. Back to Gertner over to Garver as the starting five is back into the contest for the Mustangs. Bad pass though by Garver as it goes out of bounds on this near side. So Elizabeth will take possession as they get the ball into Moon. Now it's going to be taken away. Don't going to be controlled by Minch. Shot from that right side is going to be in and out. Rebounded by McBride. So he gets the ball down court to Gertner. Now Garver for the tr three from this right side is up and good for the three. Six points on the night for Garver. Both three-pointers. Cardinals look to get the ball out as they get it out to Moon. Now back into the corner to Boss. He drives the baseline. He's going to step out of bounds. Nice pressure there by Tate Kimball. As it forces Jacob Boss to step on that out of bounds line. So Fort Morgan 2 take over in the backcourt. 25-8 Fort Morgan with 6.43 to go here in the second period. Garver now brings the ball off court. Gets it off to Kimball out on the high right wing. Kimball picks up his dribble. Gives it to Breidenbach. Now back to Kimball. Kimball's jumper from the free throw line is up and no good off the front of the rim. 
Rebounded to the Cardinals. Shot is going to be up and it looked like it might have been partially blocked by Kimball. So they get the ball into the hands of Gertner. Now to McBride. McBride into the lane. Knocked away from him. Little up and under is up and good by Austin Breidenbach. And he is fouled on the shot. And the foul is on number 43. I think that might be Wyatt Thies. So Breidenbach will go to the line to shoot one as they are up 27 to 8. Now make that 28 to 8, a 20 point lead here in the second period already for the Mustangs. With six minutes to go, second period. Lost, nice pass down onto the baseline as Minch takes it up for the bucket. Four points on the night for Jordan Minch. Garver now to Gertner. Gertner drives the baseline, but it's going to be taken away from him from the back. So turnover Mustangs as they get the ball into the hands of Minch. Minch gets it off to Boss. Now back out top to Moon. He hands it off to Boss. Into the lane. It's going to be knocked. He never did make a signal, but it's going to be Elizabeth. Ball now as Drew Gherkin comes in for Tate Kimball with 5.37 to go here in this first half of play. Must make up 28 to 10 as they get it in to Moon. He hands it off to Minch out at the high point. Shot from the right side is up and no good. Re going to be long pass down. That shot is going to be up and no good. But rebounded on the rebound is going to be a foul against the Cardinals. And we'll see who that's going to go against. And that is going to go on Cameron Moon, his first. So Fort Morgan gets the ball into McBride. Little jumper from the lane is up and good for Trey McBride. Seven points on the night for McBride. 30 to 10. Moon from the right side. That three is up and no good. McBride with the rebound. Gertner with control. Now McBride see, fakes the three. His shot is going to be up and rolls in for Trey McBride. Four points here in the quarter. 32 to 10, Fort Morgan. With 4.50 to go here in the second period. Oh, nice block off the backboard by Trey McBride. Pass up to Gertner. Now McBride. Out at the high left point, dribbles into the lane, little jumpers up and good for Trey McBride. He is putting on a clinic right now. 6'5 sophomore having a game right now. Shot is going to be up and look like partially blocked by McBride. As he brings the ball up against Thies. Garver's shot is going to be up and good on the layup. 36-10, Fort Morgan, as the Cardinals will take a timeout. So we will take one with them. Mustangs up 36-10 with 4.08 to go here in the second period on B106 and B106.com. Back here at Fort Morgan High School, 36-10, Fort Morgan, with four minutes to go here in the second period. And it's Elizabeth in control of the ball right now, but they're going to call it kick ball. So a couple of substitutions for the Cardinals as see that came in was Neely and Godrialt into the hands of Neely in the lane. That shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Breidenbach. He gets it into the hands of Garver now down court to McBride now Breidenbach out on the left wing balls tipped away by Elizabeth and they finally do come away with it as they get it into the hands of Bodriol now to Smith back to Neely now in the lane that shot is going to be up and no good rebounded by McBride McBride now down to Breidenbach and his pass cross court is going to be Intercepted, but it's going to be lost out of bounds off of the Cardinals. So Fort Morgan to inbounds right baseline of their basket as Breidenbach comes out. Kimball 
to inbounds for the Mustangs with 3.14 to go here. Mustangs up 36 to 10. Gherkin now to Kimball. Kimball for a three from the right side. And that is up and good. First three of the night for Kimball. Elizabeth now that shot is going to be up and they will count it and he has fouled at the bucket and that will go against Garver his second Let's see who that is it's a line Cage Gage Smith that free throw is off the rim but bounces in and good three points on the night for Smith 39 to 13 Carver brings the ball up court gets it off to Gertner now to Kimball in the right corner picks up his dribble now Gherkin over to Garver but through his hands and out of bounds I think he was looking to shoot before he got the ball so Connor Shaver into the lineup also for Trey McBride so we have Shaver and Kimball Gherkin Garver and Gertner on the floor for the Mustangs with 240 to go here first half Mustangs up 39 to 13 ball almost tipped away from behind Godrealt now with the ball he hands it off to Minch Minch being guarded by Gertner now they get it off to Godrealt now to uh, to Smith and they do some pass the ball around here Minch now for the three and that's off the backboard and no good finally taken away by Garver they get it up to Gertner. Gertner now to Gherkin. Gherkin for the three, and that is off the rim and no good. A rebounded by Connor Shaver. Now to Gherkin in the lane. Gherkin tries to go up with it, but he's blocked from behind. Cardinals come away with the ball. As Bain and Linker look, or Link come in, look to come into the game at the next dead ball. So Smith's shot is going to be up and bounces around and good for Smith. Five points on the night for Gage Smith. 39 to 15 Fort Morgan with a minute 36 Tate Kimball on the right side hands it off and now to Gherkin out on the left wing his dribble now to Gertner Gertner drives that left baseline pass to Connor Shaver now Garver for the two and that is up and no good rebounded by the Cardinals as the ball is tipped around but controlled by the Cardinals they get the ball to Galderot I'm killing his name. Tate, uh, Tate Kimball with the uh, steal and the layup is good for Tate Kimball. From the right side, 41-15, under a minute to go here in the first half. Pass out to Minch, a three from the left side, and that is up and good for Jordan Minch. Seven points on the night for Minch. Get the ball into the hands of Tate Kimball. Kimball faked the three and then brought it back down. Now Gherkin over on that left side. Now to Kimball out high over to Gertner on the right wing. Let's see if the Mustang just want to pull this back out and slow it down here at the end of the first half. Kimball with the ball. Keeps the ball live out at the top. Ball was almost tipped, but apparently Gherkin... Had his foot on the line when he touched it. So McBride, Derek Bain, and uh, Trevor Link come into the game for the Mustangs. Garver, Gherkin, and Gertner take a seat. Now another three from the corner is up and no good. Tipped and rebounded by McBride as he gets it up to Kimball. Kimball with two seconds. Ball is going to be tipped out of bounds with half a second to go. Fort Morgan will inbounds right baseline of their basket with half a second. So this will probably try to be a lob. They're going to take a full timeout. So we'll take one with them with half a second left here in this first half. Mustangs up 41-18 to on B106 and B106.com. Last shot uh, taken as they threw it into McBride, and that shot did not go down. So at the end of the first half, the Fort Morgan Mustangs lead 41-18. to we will be back with the halftime show on B106 and B106.com. 41 to 18 here at halftime as we're down to about two minutes left during this halftime period for the uh, 
league standings. Once again, if we haven't given them to you for Morgan since at the top at 4-0, looks like they will be going to 5-0 at the end of this game is the way things are right now. Vista Peak and Skyview each at 3-1. Gold Central and Fort Lepton at 2-2. Two two. Elizabeth and Alameda each at 1-3. And, and Inglewood at 0-4. Oh uh, other games in the uh, Colorado 7 League tonight. Skyview is at Fort Lepton. World Central is at Inglewood. And Alameda is at Vista Peak. Coming up, more games coming up uh, later on in the year. The uh, Mustangs will be playing uh, at World Central on Friday. That will be a boys and girls game. You can hear both of those games right here on B106 as well as B106.com. The boys game will be at 7. The girls will be first at 5.30. Then the boys will play at Platte Valley at 5 o'clock and then the girls will be also at Weld Central on Friday and they will be home to Platte Valley at a 5, five o'clock tip as well so some good basketball going on here at Fort Morgan High School this year and both teams are undefeated in Colorado 7 League play as we get ready to start this Second half of play with the Mustangs up 41 to 18. As the Mustangs will have first possession here to start this second half. Same original starters for the Mustangs as Garber gets the ball in the back court. Off on the right side, but they're going to call Garber for the travel before he throws the ball. So first possession, first turnover here in this second half for the Mustangs. As Boss gets it back out to Minch. Now we're going to do a little pass out into the corner. And that shot is going to be up and rolls around and no good. Rebounded by Breidenbach. So he gets the ball to in the hands of Gertner over to Garver. Now to McBride. McBride drives it down the right baseline. His shot is going to be up and good from up and under for Trey McBride. 13 points on the night for McBride. Now into the corner is Moon. So you get it out now straight away. That shot is going to be up and no good by Smith as they get it into the hands of McBride. Now take Kimball at the layup at the posi at the offensive end is up and good for Kimball. 11 points on the night for Kimball. Shot is going to be up and no good, but they're going to call a foul, I believe, on McBride. That will be Trey's first. That will send Garrett Hawkins to the line to shoot two. First free throw is up and no good. On the year, Hawkins is shooting right at 51%. Second free throw is up and no good. Rebounded by Breidenbach. He gets the ball down court quickly. Oh, nice little dish to Breidenbach, but he misses the, the layup. Elizabeth now in the front court, but knocked out of bounds by Garver. So Elizabeth, too, retained possession. As they get the ball in cross court, you get the ball now up to Moon. Now a three from the right side is going to be up and good by Minch. His second three of the night. Sport Morgan gets the ball up into the front court. McBride's going to stop and pop for a three, and that is off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Moon. Minch into the hands of Smith. And that is going to be up and good for Smith. Seven points on the night for Smith. Now Garver off to Gertner. Gertner drives it down the lane. McBride all the way down. He's going to have a layup. Is going to be blocked, but he is fouled on the shot. And I believe that foul is going to go on. 
Hawkins. That will be his first. So McBride to the line to shoot two. That first free throw is up and good. For McBride. McBride on the year is shooting uh, 57% from the free throw line. Next free throw is off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded and fought for, but taken away by Moon for Elizabeth. Now taken away by Fort Morgan. Tate Kimball, a three from the right. But that's off the rim and no good. Rebounded by McBride. Tate Kimball for another try to three, and that is up and no good. Rebounded by McBride, and he is up and in once again for Trey McBride. Strong at the rim. Boss now out to Minch. Minch over into the corner to Moon. It's going to be ten pounds. Nice hustle there by Trey McBride. First tipped it out and then tried to save it and then knocked it off of the support on the basket. So Elizabeth with control. Now a three from the left and that is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Kimball. As he gets the ball down court quickly. Shot is going to be up. Rolls around no good. Rebounded by Kimball once again. He's going to kick it out to Garver out of McBride. McBride into the lane. Kicks it out to Garver. Garver all the way down. Now they're going to call a foul in the lane. It's going to be on Elizabeth. And that will go against Boss. Will be his first. So Kimball to inbounds. Left baseline of their basket. You get it. They look to get it into Garver. Garver's jumper from the right baseline is up but no good. Rebounded by Hawkins. As he gets the ball into the corner to Boss. Now he dribbles down the lane. Little left-handed hook is up and no good. Rebounded by Hawkins. Shot is up and no good once again, but rebounded by McBride. Now to Gertner off to Garver. Now to Kimball. Kimball drives it down the left baseline. Stops and off the backboard and up and good is Tate Kimball. 13 points on the night for Kimball. 50 to 23 here. Fort Morgan with 4.28 to go in the third period as they get the ball into the hands of Smith. Now over on the far side to Moon. Back out to Minch. Minch tries to drive it down the right side. Now they get it into Hawkins being guarded by McBride. I believe that shot was partially blocked. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded once again by McBride. Tipped out of bounds in the back court by the Cardinals. So Fort Morgan will keep possession of the ball. As the Cardinals make a couple of substitutions. Adam Eveleth comes in along with Christian Godrialt. So Grayson Garver with the ball up court gets it off to Gertner. Man-to-man -man defense here by the Cardinals. They get it back to Gertner over to Garver. Just under four minutes to go here in this third period. Mustangs up 50 to 23. Tate Kimball all the way down on that right side is up and good. Six points in this third period for Kimball. Five in the period for McBride. You get the ball now into the hands of Minch. Now into the corner to Evola. Being guarded by Garver. Man-to-man -man defense by the Mustangs. Three from the corners off the rim and no good. Tip by Breidenbach. Tate Kimball with the jumper in the lane. Up and no good, but he gets his own rebound. Gets it off to Breidenbach. Breidenbach in the lane. Kicks it out to McBride. McBride for the three off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Hawkins. 52 to 23. Fort Morgan just under three minutes here in this third period. Is a number of substitutions getting ready to come in for the Mustangs. They get the ball up court, but it's going to be taken away. Turnover by the Mustangs as Minch steps in front of that pass. Shot is going to be up and good, and I believe that was Hawkins with the bucket, his first bucket of the night. Tate Kimball down the right side picks it up. Garver now for a three from the top, and that is off the front of the rim and no good. Tipped around and taken away by Hawkins. He gets the ball into the hands of Godrialt. Now out to Eveleth. 
Eveleth out on the high right wing to Tolley. Pass underneath is going to be taken away and then tipped out of bounds by Elizabeth. <coughs> so Fort Morgan will get possession. So nice job by the starting five as McBride, Breidenbach, Kimball, and Garber come out. So that will leave uh, Gertner on the floor with Connor Shaver, Drew Gherkin, Derek Bain, and Trevor Link. Two minutes left here in this third period. Mustangs up 52-25. to 25. Give these non-starters a little bit of time out here to get some varsity play. Gherkin had a gloss of Daldero and out of bounds to Connor Shaver to inbounds in front of the Fort Morgan bench. So the Elizabeth coach was kind of wandering up by the scorer's table and the ref had to tell him to get back. I'm not sure what he was wandering up that far for. Bain with ball another five seconds. Oh, they're going to call a foul. And that will go on Carson Tolley, his first. So Shaver gets the ball in to Gherkin over to Gertner now back out to Gar or to a Gertner, or excuse me, to Gherkin. Minute 26, 52, 25, Fort Morgan. Gherkin cross court now to Gertner at the free throw line. Gets it to uh, Shaver now to Link. Link from the corner and it's up and good for the two for Trevor Link. It was a, must have just barely had his foot on the line. 54-25 Fort Morgan with a minute to go here in this third period. As Minch with it out on the high right wing, left wing, excuse me. Now gets it into the hands of Hawkins. Drives all the way down, but they're going to call a foul on the shot. As it did not fall. And that, fall, that uh, foul will go on Connor Shaver, his second. That will send Garrett Hawkins to the line to shoot, too. That first one is off the rim and no good. He is so far... Oh, 0 of 3. So foul number 4 coming up here, and that one is up and good. Three points on the night for Hawkins with 50 seconds to play here. Third period, 54-26. Gertner now to Gherkin. Gherkin for a 3, and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded with a foul on the rebound. And that will go against Fort Morgan. And that is going to go on Derek Bain, his first. So Elizabeth, the inbounds far into the court as they bring it up now with under 40 seconds to play. 54-26. Fort Morgan as they look to get the ball into Moon in the or to Hawkins. Now a deep three, and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded, though, by Gertner. Under 30 seconds now. Gertner hustles it up. Now off to Gherkin. Gherkin for another three try, and that is up and no good. It looks like it's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Fort Morgan with 19.3 seconds. As the Cardinals bring the ball up now with 15 seconds to go here in this third period. Bad pass as Hawkins was headed to the basket and the pass was just behind him. So turnover by Elizabeth as the Mustangs will look for the last shot here. 54 to 26 with now three seconds. Gherkin for another three, and that was up and off the rim and no good. So at the end of the end of three, the Mustangs up 54 to 26 on B106 and B106.com. Brian Nickel with Claudia Nickel here at uh, Fort Morgan High School. We have Michaela Tipper back at the studios for us tonight. As the Mustangs, that shot was blocked, I believe, by McBride as Smith was trying to go up with it. Garver now drives it down the left baseline. His shot, or pass is going to be knocked away, but taken by Tate Kimball. Austin Breidenbach with the layup, and it is up and good for Breidenbach. So now a full timeout is going to be taken here by the Elizabeth Cardinals. So we'll take one with them. 
Mustangs up 56-26 on B106 and B106.com. Back here at uh, Fort Morgan High School as the Elizabeth Cardinals get the ball in court, working the ball around on the offensive line, offensive side here as Breidenbach comes down with the rebound. Kicks it off to Garver out on the right wing. Now to Tate Kimball. Kimball for a three from the top, and it is up and good for Tate Kimball. His second three of the night. First one here in the third period, 59-26. Layup is going to be up and no good by the Cardinals as they get the ball up. Not a good pass by Garver as he tried to get it to McBride on that far sideline. Skipped by him and out of bounds. Cardinals now bring the ball up court. All the way down and up and good. And that is going to be Neely for the bucket. His first bucket of the night. Tate Kimmel now off to Garver. Now to Trevor Shirtless, who is into the game for the Mustangs. Back to McBride out on the right wing. Gets it out to Kimball out high. Kimball from the free throw line. His deuce is up and rolls out as... Elizabeth Cardinals come away with the rebound. Now over on the far side is going to be a three taken. That is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by McBride. Shirtliff over to uh, Breidenbach, but not a good pass by Shirtliff. Shirtliff is a 5'8 junior. As the Fort Morgan Mustangs will take a timeout. So we'll take one with them. 59 to 28 Fort Morgan with 558 left here in this fourth period on B106 and B106.com. 555 to go here, fourth period as the Cardinals bring the ball up court. They get to the hands of Neely. And that shot is going to be up and no good, but he has fouled on the shot. And I believe that's going to go on Garver. We'll see if that's who they. That will be on Grayson Garver, his third. That will send Neely to the line to shoot two. So Neely on the year as that first one is up and good is shooting right at uh, 53% from the charity stripe. Second one is up and off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Tate Kimball. Kimmel slows it down. Breidenbach now drives it down the right baseline. Little layup is going to be up and short, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back up and good for Breidenbach. Nine points on the night for Austin. Now as the Cardinals look to work the ball on offense here. Shot is going to be up and no good, but rebounded right there at the bucket. But looked like a clean block. They're going to call a foul on the shot. And that will go, I believe that will also go on Garver, and that will be his fourth. That will send Neely back to the line to shoot two. 5.16 left here. That shot is up and no good. So Tate Kimball and Austin Breidenbach come out. Michael Lauk. And Luis Garcia into the game for the Mustangs. Neely's second free throw up and good. Four points on the night for Neely. Carver now brings the ball up in the front court. Now off to shirt left out on the high left wing. Gets it to McBride down in the left block. Looks to... Get it out to Garver. Garver's three is up and off the rim and no good. Tipped away uh, by Thies. As shot is going to be up and no good. So that foul will be on Garver. So he will have fouled out of the game. And that is going to send uh, Cameron Moon to the line to shoot two. So Garver is going to leave. He has uh, eight points on the night all in the first half.
That free throw is in and out. No good on the first attempt by Moon. So Tate Kimball back into the lineup for the Mustangs. Second free throw up and also no good. Rebounded by uh, Trevor Shirtliff. Yeah, he was just got called full of travel as he came over midcourt. Couldn't make a decision where he wanted to go with the ball and ended up with the turnover. 31 point lead here for the Mustangs with 444 to go here in this contest. As Elizabeth gets the ball and that's going to end up going. Tate Kimball's going to, oh, nope, didn't quite run it down now. It's out of bounds, finally off of Trevor Shirtliff after all the hustle and stuff and ends up uh, going off of him and out of bounds. Nice hustle down court as everybody tried to hustle after that ball. Elizabeth now with another shot from the corner up and no good. Rebounded by McBride. They're going to call him for the carry. So turnover Mustangs with 416 left here in this fourth period. Ball over on the far side. They've got some people in here. I have no idea who they are. They don't have any names with these numbers. So we will at least keep track of it for the Mustangs anyway as McBride goes all the way down, gives it off out to Garcia. McBride now all the way down the left sideline, but he is going to be called for the travel. Turnover Mustangs with 3.51 to go, 61 to 30. Fort Morgan with just under four minutes, and that three is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Luis Garcia. Nice hustle by Garcia. All the way down, layup is up, and oh, just off of the rim and no good. So close. As Garcia is getting some of the, a little bit more playing time here as the Mustangs with the big lead with 3.36 to go. They get it in to McBride, now back out to Garcia. Tate Kimball for a three from the up top, and that is up and no good. Rebounded by Hawkins. So you get it up the court to Smith. And that is going to be good by Smith. His first two here of the fourth period. Nine points on the night for Smith. Garcia now to McBride. McBride fake and he's going to try to go up at his shot is blocked. Now Garcia for a three and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Michael Lauk. Up and good for Lauk. His first points of the night. 63-32 now is the Mustangs look to clear the bench once again, but they're going to give the bucket to Hawkins and give the foul to McBride. So Hawkins with the bucket and coming up with the I thought they called the back I thought he said the bucket was good. Okay. Oh, okay, he pointed at the floor, so I think it's going to be a one and one so there was no bucket there for Hawkins. I saw him. So this will be a one and one as the first shot is up and good. So now Derek Bain, Trevor Link, Drew Gherkin, Connor Shaver into the lineup along with Nate Gertner. And that foul is going to go on Josh Thompson, I believe, his first. So Gertner brings the ball up court for the Mustangs, up 30, 63 32. Gherkin down the left side now is going to look to kick it out, gets it out to Shaver, out to Gertner now on the far side to Link. Out at the high right 
Wing now over to Shaver in the corner. Back out to Bain out at the point. Link now to Gherkin as the Mustangs work some time off the clock here. Gertner now at the high right wing, picks it up, gives it back to Bain. Bain's going to try a three from the corner, up and no good. Rebound, and it looks like it's going to be oh, off of Elizabeth and out of bounds. Fort Morgan will retain possession as they will inbounds left baseline of their basket. Mustangs up 30, 63 to 33. Shaver now in that left corner, drives the baseline, picks it up. Now Link for a three from the corner, and that is off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by the Cardinals. And I'm not sure where that pass was headed, but Fort Morgan got the ball first in the back court. So Trevor Link with the ball. As he loses it for a second, then gets it back. Gherkin at the free throw line. Now out to Shaver. Shaver at the free throw line, kicks it back out to Bain out high. Bain has it knocked away, taken away. And now a foul in the backcourt. Let's see if that's on Derek Bain. And it will be on Bain. That will be his second. So we have a number four going to the line to shoot for the Cardinals. So we will. His first free throw is up and good. As he will get a second. That free throw is off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Derek Bain. Gets it off to Gertner with a minute 20 left here in the contest. 63-34. Nate Gertner back out to uh, Link. Link is going to be tied up at the left elbow, possession arrow to the Mustangs. As that's only the fourth team foul on the Cardinals here in this. Well, it was, it was not a foul, excuse me, but only four team fouls on the Cardinals. Eight on the Mustangs. A little sloppy underneath the basket now. Now another tie-up, and this will go to the Cardinals with 59 seconds left. Fort Morgan up 29, 63 to 34. As the Cardinals bring the ball up court, get it off to Smith out on the high left wing. Now drives the baseline, shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded up and no good. Rebounded and tipped out of bounds off of the Cardinals. So Fort Morgan will throw in at the far end of the court with 46.1 seconds. As Nate Gertner brings the ball up, court gets it off to Connor Shaver. Shaver gets it out to Gherkin, now over to Gertner. Bain over on the right wing with 29 seconds. Back out to Link. Link to Gherkin, over to Shaver. Link backs it out now to Bain with 15 seconds to go. As Fort Morgan does not look to shoot right now. They're just going to run this clock out as they get it into the hands of Link out high down to four seconds as he's going to look to dribble out the ball. Dribble out the clock here. So that's the way this game will come to an end. The Mustangs win big, 63-34. to 34. Over the Elizabeth Cardinals, who will be back in three minutes with the postgame show on B106 and B106.com. This Fort Morgan Mustangs postgame show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at www.morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC, here to help you imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goals. Well, this was the only time this game was close was at the tip-off. The Mustangs had a... Uh, 22 to 8 lead by the end of the first period, 41 to 18 at half, 54 26 at the end of three, and finally won it at, at, with a 29 point win, 63 to 34. Leading scorers for the Elizabeth Cardinals is Jordan Minch with 10, Gage Smith with 9, 
Jake Boss with five, Zach Neely and Garrett Hawkins each with four, and Cameron Moon with one for their 34. Leading the way for the Fort Morgan Mustangs tonight is Tate Kimball with 18, Trey McBride with 16, Austin Breidenbach with nine, Grayson Garver with eight, uh, Nate Gertner with five, Drew Gerken with three, and Trevor Link and Michael Lauk each with two for the Fort Morgan 63. As far as rebounds are concerned, uh, rebounds for Morgan out rebounded the Cardinals by uh, double them up 40 to 20 turnovers we had 18 for the Mustangs and 15 for the Cardinals so something they need to work on there a little bit kind of got sloppy there for a little bit when you get a big lead like that you kind of get out of your your uh, element maybe not take care of the ball as well as you sh- as well as you should but anyway coming away with the big win as the Fort Morgan Mustangs as they now go up uh, five and zero oh on league play, as well as the girls. They also sit at five and zero oh after they had the win earlier tonight, thirty-four to thirty. Our next broadcast here on B one hundred six, as well as B one hundred six dot com, will be Friday night, as the boys and girls travel to Weld Central. The girls' game will be at five thirty. The boys' game will be at seven. Uh, Fort Morgan Mustang player of the game is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center with three locations to serve you better. Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan, your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed. And we are going to give that tonight to Trey McBride as he was a, a, a monster on the boards tonight. Just pretty well took control also with 16 points. So our player of the game once again, Trey McBride in the big win here over the Elizabeth Cardinals. So we will close this out and be back with you next uh, f- this coming Friday night. The co- sound engineer and producer of Fort Morgan Mustangs basketball tonight has been Michaela Clipper. For Claudia Nickel, I'm Brian Nickel. Once again, the scores tonight from Fort Morgan High School as the girls win 34 to 30, the boys win 63 to 34. You've been listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs Basketball on B106 and B106.com. Good night, everybody.